All right, here we are once again, having completed that little test. Now it's really time to go. Don't keep others waiting, yes. Don't keep them waiting, huh? Lads? Maybe. 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 Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Steady. Okay, so he's finally leaving that room. Sam, access the Lake Nut City delivery terminal. I always thought that Mads was going to be the guy behind that skull looking mask, but turns out that's Troy Baker, so. Sam, to review, your present objective is to extend the chiral network from Lake Nut City to South Nut City. To that end, you'll need to utilize prepper shelters as way stations. Frankly, it won't be easy. Fragile's tried to get some of them on board, but you know how preppers are. More than a few won't want anything to do with the UC. Yeah, they're repeating this. So we've got to prove to them they're better off with us. Figure out what they need and what we can provide, and then deliver. Do that, and they just might agree to join us. Yeah, okay, so... All right, get to it. The list of orders is on the terminal. Okay, so we could really turn into Aaron Boy now. So I will join you, but you got to go and get me some oxytocin. We'll join you, you got to get me some metal and all that kind of shit. So we'll have to see. Oh, we've got three. Wow. Gun parts and anti-BT weapon delivery craftsman. Elder engineer. So I think we're going to like be dotting a path across as we do this anyway. So fragile cargo. What's fragile about this? This is a somewhat unusual order. You're going to want to review the key points in the summary. Yep. This cargo has low durability and can be destroyed very easily. Try to avoid vibration and impact. No problem. So yeah, let's select them all. Delivery to mountainous area. It's already 45 kilos worth of stuff, but I've got to take it. Ah, yeah. An empty container tagged with a fake ID, a.k.a. decoy cargo. Could be useful for fooling folks who can't get enough of other people's deliveries. Three kilos? Why does it have to weigh so much? Why can't it weigh like one? It's, it's, inside is going to be empty. It's full of smoke. Come on, man. Let's make... What, they only cost ten? They cost ten metal. We can always just leave them in a the stock, right? got 352 ceramics as well. Right, we'll do that for now and then we'll move them around. It's always easier. Right, we've got a lot of stuff here. Uh, okay. I think I'll only carry two of these with me. The rest I'll put in private locker. It's already 52 kilograms, buddy. Hell. What, I have to refill the pouches? Really? Okay, fine. Okay. I'll drop one of these for now. Okay. Now let's lessen some of the load on my back. Okay, I mean this isn't too bad, I guess. We're going to offload one of them soon anyway. So we'll, we'll move like this for now.
Also need to check the bike situation again. He's definitely fully loaded, man. Order assigned. Private room. Damn it, no vehicles available. Okay. Fine. Let's just make our way towards the first place we've got to go. Hmm. Uh, right, the first place is here. So we'll follow that path. It looks fairly linear for this bit. So let's just go. Beginning scan. Have a pleasant journey. Passing through mule territory. Move fast and quiet. As if they see you. If they catch you. To think that their parents were porters like you who risk life and limb to try and keep our country together. And now their broken children carry on the work without any understanding of what it once meant. It's a ritual to them. The delivery. An insatiable addiction. And they'll be coming for you to get their next fix. <laughs> I never thought it'd be so delivery guys would be so dangerous. Delivery addict people. Okay. Someone has smartly put a watchtower up here. That's something I was gonna consider doing, but they've already done it. Have a pleasant journey. Thankfully I seem to be able to run okay for now, even though I've got quite a heavy load. I'm not doing too bad. I honestly can't be bothered to like everything. But there we go, we've got some Weapons some big snowy mountains. Lifted. Now I will make use of this and I will give this a like. Solid Yusuke. Someone's a Metal Gear fan. Thanks for the help. Alright, let's have a look. There we go, starting to see the mules now. Man, I just need a sniper so I can snipe out mules from a distance and just clear a path myself. That's just the way I love to play games. That's not going to happen for a very long time, if at all. So, not gear my hopes up for that. Right. I think this is kind of what we can get for now. At least we saw a couple of mules. Right, thank you. Let's get a move on. This is the first one, right? 638 versus... Yeah, okay. A hologram of a Ken will appear whenever you or other players are resting. Resting near a Ken will increase the speed at which Sam recovers. The more players that rest in a given spot, the bigger the cairn will grow. Pick up. <coughs> That's interesting. Okay. Wow. There's just some. I think with that stuff, there's just too many things for me to consider. Like building watch. It looks like a way through. Building watchtowers and shit is fairly consistent, but like making these. Whoa. Easy, man. Making these can things for people just seems a bit, a bit much. Ooh, that's very heavy. Let's see. What is this? Auto paver. We'll rebuild a. Hold on. Rebuild roads. A highway used to run through there back in the day. The first expedition team left behind a paver, but to finish the job, 
You'll need more than that. Bloody hell. 800 metal, 600 ceramic. I'll hand this in for it. I'm okay with that. They gave you a little bit to get you started. <laughs> if you do not have enough materials, try collecting drop materials or claim materials from a nearby facility. Yeah, I think once I have a vehicle, it'll be easier to take stuff to and from. Right, so they're telling me that there is a mule around here. Thank you. Right, so I got this place for cover. And there's a strand thing right in the middle of it. Sound cues. Right. Let's not get too excited. I wonder what happens when we literally just face off with one. It's just literally sprinting towards me. I'm gonna strand his ass. See if I can clown this guy. Which way is he coming? I've never been this close to one. Shit, they're both coming for me. Right, let's take one on and just see what happens. Okay, that's the most action. Oh wow, there's there's a bunch of them flipping out. I don't know if they're gonna shoot me with something. I thought there was only maybe one more tops. Be interesting to see what the AI is like. Damn, they're gonna be surrounded. Why can't I do anything? Ooh. Oh, there's a whole gang of them. Freaking out. <laughs> Holy shit. This is interesting. It's a whole gang of them. Wow. At least I took one out. I can't seem to use my... I can't seem to use my th thing. No. No. I'm not leaving, man, without that PCC, but it seems like they have to be right next to you. It seems. So that's something. Hold on. Okay. I'm going to have to run back home this time around. Ooh, that was a good throw. Well done. Yeah, you see, this is a big problem because their, their range is so wide that they seem to find one very, very quickly. Easy. Slow down. Stop. So did I run out of strand or something? Is that why? Yeah, I mean, their area is just so wide that you can't really go for one because you enter the area, there's already four or five of them onto you. And how are you supposed to do combat with four or five guys when literally your only weapon is a fucking strand? That doesn't seem right. Just pee on them for dominance. So you pretty much have no choice but to distract them. Look at these guys. Wow. They're not fucking around.
They're all just there. Let me see what this thing is like. The decoy. Carry. Really gotta avoid them, man. Especially until you got, especially until you got more weapons. But you see, this is the thing. It's like here, there's nowhere to hide either. What's my stamina looking like? Okay, it's not great. I'm just wondering if I can still get... Did they help their, their guy over there or something? I was kind of hoping to, to steal something off him. But. So this is the thing. Like, Can I not take this out? I should be able to break this thing. <laughs> That's a shame. here. Okay, I'm going to have to decoy these guys. No, hold on. Carry left hand. Okay. But you see, their, their thing is, their reach is so wide that it does seem pretty difficult. I guess when there's like four of them, you don't have much choice but to but to not engage them. Give me that long grass, man. Okay, so I managed to trick him. Okay, this is good. Two hundred eighty-seven. So, like, something's been detected. Does that mean, again, there's going to be, like, five people running at me here? If there is, then I'm just not seeing how I'm supposed to be able to deal with that. Just too many. This person's probably coming over to my side. That's not good. Okay, so... I've got to get some timing going here with this. I've got to wait for him to attack. And then... Huh? Oh. This is what I mean, they're just too many. I mean, eventually I've got to just try and take them all out. I don't have much choice. But you don't always seem to get a chance to parry. 
So, hold on. Uh. Yeah, I finally got a game over. I mean, that was never going to work. One strand versus like six people is always fucked. I mean, I'm not sure. I don't. I'm not sure. I like that. They want you to be completely stealthy. That's not good. Wow, you get punished badly for being caught. So basically, the game is saying, do not fuck with gangs of mules right now. To be honest, there I wasn't even trying to, but. It's very difficult. If mules steal your cargo, stolen cargo will be st stored in a post box somewhere in hostile territory. Other items who... Duh, duh, duh. Yeah, what a bastard. Okay, at least some of my stuff is still here. But I really don't have a lot against these guys. I don't know what those grenades could potentially do, if anything. I doubt it's much. I mean, they seem... They seem extremely difficult to deal with because they see you coming from a mile off and then once they do, they're all coming for you. So I, I don't know how you're supposed to deal with that. That doesn't seem very fair to me. It's extremely heavily favoring the mules. So I guess until we get better weapons or something, you're supposed to just go on your merry way. So you get detected and it's like every single one in the vicinity. It reminds me of Horizon Zero Dawn where like you get detected once and the entire camp just runs towards you. I mean I could make a sprint for that side but... The combat is a bit weird as well because... I mean there was a few occasions where I had my strand ready. And it didn't give me an option to parry at all. And sometimes I did and sometimes I didn't so... Because I've had extremely little to no combat in this game at all for like the first 12 hours. Obviously it's going to take a while before I understand how that works. Just got to try and remember the basics of CQC. I guess you just have to stay on the move and try and pick them off and not leave too many of them around. So this guy is quite on his own. Yeah, he's gone too far away. I'm wondering if that's the post box where I can get my stuff back from. I hope it is. I doubt, I doubt it. No. See the tracks you left behind? They tell a story. If you were a spy on a mission, you'd have failed. But you're not. So be proud of those tracks. They're proof that you exist. Keep leaving that proof. Let people know you're out there. Give them the courage to come together again. As you expand the network and aid your fellow Americans, you strengthen the bonds between us all and blaze a trail for them to follow. Yeah, that's all well and good, but when you got these mules hunting you down, it's not easy. And they're so spread out as well. They're a really difficult bunch. I guess one good thing is that they don't have guns. It 
You see, and they're off again, you see? They're all... I don't know. I don't really understand how that works. Every time, you just gotta run. You get seen once, it's over. This is worse than Metal Gear Solid. You didn't even get punished this badly in Metal Gear when you got seen. Look at this. Look at this. This is madness. Got three of them chasing me down. Freaking out. They don't leave me a choice. I'm going to try my best to survive this time. He helped his buddy out at ju just the wrong time. And now there's four. What the hell? They're giving you nothing. You just feel kind of naked here. One thing I will try, just for the hell of it, is to see if my hermatic grenades have any effect on humans. Hold on. <laughs> so I have to go behind them, like this. Alright, hold on, hold on. There's a chance we might we might make out of this. Low, but possible. Basically do that. Oh, come on. Run behind them. But now there's even more of them coming in. So this is the most I've managed to take out in one go. There we go. So I think this is like a mini revenge. <laughs> I had to use a lot of my grenades for that, but I guess that's something. Sheesh. Right. At least we can continue on our way, but there's still like 10 of them over there. Freak it out. not been a good start. I want to go to that post box to get my shit back. What was this? Okay, it's another auto paver. Where? Okay, well, they're aware of my presence. Fuck that. But, to be honest, I don't have any of the deliveries. It said close range attacks, but I'm not seeing any. Wow, they saw me from that far? Really? No way. No freaking way. This place is infested. And they can see you from about a kilometer away. And there's no grass, there's no nothing. Wow. Once they come over that hill, I'm fucked. I want to restart my save now that this was like a little tutorial battle. They're just going to scan again and then they're going to know it's me here. So I don't see how this helps at all. Let's see if I can survive long enough for them to go away. It's like the caution phase of MGS.
Did the other ones see? They did, I'm in trouble. Yep. Alright, I'm getting slightly better at parrying now. There we go. Taking out like eight of them now. You bunch of ceramic motherfuckers. I guess there's another road paving thing here. Right? Put some metals in for that. Yeah. Okay, so now the, the action level has definitely gone up since we've arrived here. Unfortunately, the terrain is largely the same, at least for this bit, but... You've got all these extra... extra supplies. 